Alright, we're rolling. Why did you come to Montana? I came to Montana because I wanted to get away from the busyness of Southern California and I wanted to get up to the mountains. As soon as I stepped on the Missoula campus, I just absolutely fell in love with it. So that's like right then and there I was like, okay, hey, I'm going to Missoula. So yeah. I came to Montana originally because uh, I wanted to be a part of the physical therapy program that they have here at the university. I actually got uh, the movie scholarship, so I paid pretty close to in-state. I'm coming from California. Um, most of the schools um, actually cost more than <laughs> going to school here, which is pretty messed up. But um, yeah, I think that, uh, I mean, the, the main thing that drew me was the, uh, definitely the program that I was interested in, and um, also just kind of the size of the school, and then also the money that they, that they gave me to come here. I came to Montana to get out of the state. I mean, I was in the state for so long that I just felt like I needed to get out, so decided to leave and go to some place that had another really good form of nature. I absolutely love California. That's where I grew up. That's where a lot of my memories are made when I was young. Um, I definitely miss it now that I'm here. However, I love it so much in Missoula that it feels just like a home away from home. I absolutely love it. Um, it's perfect for me. I love, I love the outside and the mountains. It's... I really like it. Um, I, I, I really enjoy like the culture um, that's you know I mean uh, that Missoula has. It's a really nice like small town, um, and uh, I don't know. It, it, in, in ways, it kind of reminds me of, of home a little bit. Uh, I mean the, the people are pretty um, progressive. Not that that's super important, but um, you know I mean there, there's a general understanding that uh, um, forward progress is uh, is is good. Um, both, you know, culturally and just kind of like diversity-wise. I mean, um, I, I, I find a lot of like the stuff that I, I would go enjoy going to at home here. I um, mean, we have great coffee. I mean, there's some places you can go. The food's really good. Um, and I mean, on top of that, like, I mean, everything's pretty cheap for the most part, whereas in California, it's all super expensive. So um, the big thing, I mean, just really that, you know, the culture here is great. Um, I, I really like it, and I like the people as well. They're um, super accepting of, of most, uh, most people. So. A lot of people here are a little, they have like a small town mindset, which is great. It's not bad. I just think that like they see a lot of us Californians as outsiders, you know. I feel like they have that tight, they feel like they have that tight knit community and they feel like we're coming in here and like shooting all of our ideals and all of our, I don't know, all of our values basically down their throat, I feel, because some people's like every day would be in California would be a lot different than their every day in Montana. Like, I don't know. Like I said before, Californians I feel are a little more selfish than the people in Montana. So I feel like if they come over here, it'll just skew the values so people are more selfish rather than nicer. Um, I personally haven't had any bad experiences. Um, I think most of them are pretty open-minded and. Uh, it's more about who you are individually, not necessarily where you came from. That being said, uh, both times I got pulled over in Montana is when I had California license plates before I changed to Montana plates. Um, when I was a freshman, I was in Craig Hall and there was a party in one of the rooms and I went and this guy kind of come up and he came up to me and he was like, hey, like, where are you from? Like, what's your name? And I was like, well, I told him my name. and. And I said, I'm from California. And as soon as I said I was from California, he was just like, he like backed off and he was like, oh, what are you doing here? And he was being really rude about it, that I was from California. And that was kind of my first experience of someone not liking the state where I was from. And I didn't understand it because I, I honestly had never felt that way. Like I had never felt uncomfortable from being where I'm from and moving to Missoula until this guy said something. And then a few weeks later, I was in the gym and I saw him with a UCLA uh, uh, sweatshirt on. So I was like, okay, like you hate Californians, but you like UCLA, like I don't understand you. And I went up to him and I was like, hey, nice shirt. And I walked away. <laughs> and what made you want to stay in Missoula after high school, decide to go to college here in Missoula? Um, it was cheap. Yeah, actually. Um, I was looking into California schools. I was really set on actually going to San Diego State originally, but then when I got my financial aid package and stuff back, I was going to have to take 30 plus grand a year in private loans to go there, and it just didn't make any sense. So I ended up staying here, but now that I'm here in Missoula, I don't 
I can't really imagine going anywhere else. Um, being in college here in Missoula is very different than growing up here, and it's kind of like its own little community. It's very different than what it was growing up. But I think the biggest thing is like, Montana is one of the least populated states. Like, we're really lucky to live in such like a beautiful and natural area. Um, you don't really have that luxury in every state. It's kind of cool that we could go out 10 minutes and pretty much be in the wilderness and you know be with wildlife and stuff. And I think it kind of scares people to think that our state would be become a more populated state and become you know more urban. I think a reason why a lot of people come to Montana and why you know we have places like Paws Up and Triple Creek and we have those you know super expensive luxurious resorts where all these celebrities and really rich and famous people will come is because it's an escape from that. And I think we really treasure being able to live in that all the time. And I think it kind of scares us thinking that one day that might not be a possibility anymore. Well, my dad grew up here in Missoula too. And even I've talked to him about it, just like the differences between when he was growing up to now, just how the city's grown and stuff. I think we're kind of going to get used. I like being the size of Missoula. I would like it even a little bit bigger. I don't think I could live in a smaller town than Missoula. And I think like our generation and younger, I think would kind of like, you know, we like a lively, lively environment. It was such an awesome college town and same with, you know, Butte's getting there, Bozeman's pretty cool. It's nice to be able to have, you know, that culture, have like, we have festivals here in Missoula, music, there's, you know, art exhibits downtown and stuff. That's cool that we get to have that. And that's stuff you don't really get in a tiny town. I think the more we grow, you know, I could still drive out 20 minutes and be in my hometown and pretty much look and see 10 deer in my backyard and no one's going to be around. I don't think that's going to change any time in our lifetime. I think Montana's still going to have a ton of tiny towns. I'm sure the big cities are going to get bigger, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think it's good to have cultured cities and, you know, have a little bit of diversity. Cool. And um, I guess, do you have any like funny stories you want to tell us about this kind of subject? I know it's on the spot. <laughs> I know it's on the spot.